foremost, uh, apologies for this confusion because we did not expect anything like this to happen. And now that it has happened, we will understand what the uh, how to manage technologies within uh, this ch ever-changing environment. So, so for all of those who have joined us, um, please uh, be, um, uh, be please note uh, our sincere apologies. And I, as I said before, I proceed. I'd like to convey my sincerest condolences to the families of all those who lost their loved ones. I have conveyed our condolences to my colleagues in Nova Scotia. It is amazing. Nobody seems to know why this guy did such a horrific act. So, um, and on the COVID-19 issue, let us all be mindful that despite the fact that we have had uh, information from both the provincial and the federal um, chief medical officers that we are, our physical distancing is, is helping. Let us also remember that it is not yet time to go out and hold hands, but it is time now for us to uh, reflect on what we will do for the next four weeks uh, because D uh, Premier Doug Ford talked about the fact that he still thinks that uh, the emergency measures are going to be there till uh, Ma May the 13th or 14th. So for everyone's um, benefit has been operating. On a daily basis, 338 MPs are on the phone from 4.30 to 5.30 talking to uh, ministers and bureaucrats and enabling them to ask questions. And if you listen to what Elizabeth May has been saying, you don't have to be in the House of Commons and create a confusion uh, because of the physical distancing. If we as MPs return to the House, then how are we going to set an example for others to not go out and do what they have to do? So, uh, and most MPs have been operating remotely. Uh, and in my case, we have been answering questions on a daily basis, responding to emails. All of my staff is available and working hard. Today, April 22nd is Earth Day. <clears throat> and as a government, we have worked closely and with Canadians to ensure that our environment is looked after, that the environment and the economy go hand in hand. And that is why all the measures we have taken, investments in green technology, ensuring polluters pay, has been to ensure that the earth recovers. And maybe the COVID-19 virus has given us time to ponder about nature and about our responsibility as custodians of this nature. Friday is the beginning of Ramadan, so for all those that are, uh, that are celebrating Ramadan, uh, we wish them Ramadan Kareem. Now, I thought today's a town hall, I will highlight some of the questions that we are getting. And first of all, is the clarification on seniors. Seniors have been writing to us and telling us what about me? How can I get benefits out of this uh, COVID-19? Why are you paying all the families and individuals? And our response has been that families and individuals have lost their jobs. They have no money to put food on the table. So the government's first response was to look after them. And when we introduced the CERB, we realized that the program needed a lot of uh, juggling because there are people who are in the gig economy, there are people who are self-employed, they are people who do not earn enough hours. So we rejigged the CERB. And now we 
once we have rejigged it, and this comes because of our conversation with all of you, our town halls, our interactions are helping change policies and making them better. The, uh, at the last uh, town hall, I talked about the Canada emergency wage subsidy. And there was a little confusion from some constituents who thought I was telling them that they couldn't apply for this emergency subsidy. The CRA website allows you to apply for that subsidy. However, businesses run under the provincial jurisdiction. So as a business, if the province uh, enlists you as a central business, then you are safe. But if the province enlists you as a non-essential business, and if you remain open, then they create a problem. So under federal rules, yes, you can apply for the Canada Emergency Wage Benefit, but you also have to be mindful that you are meeting the requirements of your, the province in which you reside. So I hope that clarifies. Um, I had a conversation with Mayor Tory uh, yesterday or the day before, and he advised me that the uh, city is very mindful of businesses that want to open up and they are going to triage it and see the, because they have to learn from the complexity. And the example that they are following is Germany. So wait for some of the directives that are coming. But he also advised me that if businesses that are not essential, the provincial guys will come and probably fine you $25,000. And so I would suggest that we all be very careful as we move forward with the various programs. Um, now, the next one I would like to talk uh, to is the calculation. So we've been asked, so how do I apply for CEWS and is it uh, something that I will benefit. And if one looks at the CEWS, uh, the information, the first uh, pro program that we had cre created was we said we would pro provide 10% of the wages. But with input from businesses and people like yourself, we increased, the Prime Minister listened to us and increased it to 75%. And for any businesses that is looking to access CEWS, please go onto the CRA website and you will find um, a calculator that will enable you to calculate what the 75% in your case is. So these are the websites that we have provided to everyone. And if you are still concerned, there are websites that will tell you how to uh, who is a beneficiary of the CERB, who is the beneficiary of CEWS, and the Canada Econ uh, COVID-19 Economic Response is the website you go to. Now, for families who are losing income and have kids, we have increased the Canada Child Benefit. And for everyone, we have doubled the GST. We are trying our best to ensure that everyone is incorporated and looked after during this crisis. For students, and I had a question from someone because there was a program that has just been announced by the Prime Minister, so I'll come to it a little later. But students uh, who wish to work during this crisis, we have made the CSJ flexible for the employers and the employees so that between May of this year to February of uh, next year, uh, February 29th, 2021, you can be employed by an employer. Our deadline to submit to Service Canada the, the names uh, of businesses who are interested in providing jobs during this period is April 24th. So please, if you are looking at it, 
um, do go and uh, do let us know ASAP that you want to apply um, as an employer, that you meet the uh, provincial guidelines. Now, there was an announcement that I talked about uh, today regarding assistance to students who are graduating and are affected by COVID-19. It is called the Canada Student Benefit and the Canada Student Grant. The Prime Minister is listening to our input. So, uh, for example, Madam uh, Taylor, uh, if you are on the Zoom, please listen to this. Once a program is announced or a, 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 a safety net is announced by the Prime Minister, it is the bureaucracy that has to implement a program. So it was announced yesterday. The uh, applications or the logistics of the program are not available at the moment. It'll take uh, time. So as soon as we have details about this program, we will communicate that as well. On the Canada uh, business, emergency business account, we are um, helping businesses who wish to remain open, are financially uh, feasible, access $40,000 in interest-free loan guaranteed by the government of Canada. And that allows businesses to stay afloat. And so if you need to get any more information, we will be providing you again with the website that we had provided previously. I suggest that if you need to get in touch with us, please write to us at yasmin.rotancy at parl.gc.ca. And the last flyer we sent you, we advised you that the COVID-19 is an evolving situation. And so you can visit www dot canada dot ca black backslash coronavirus that gives you everything you want to know about the different programs that are there and that you can access now on the coming back to the um, i was talking about the canada summer jobs program so for employers um, we are paying 100% of the wage, wages of the students you hire. Previously, we were supplying 50% uh, for the uh, for-profit sector and 100% for the not-for-profit sector. So that is important to know. And like I said, our deadline for submission names of businesses is on uh, April 24th. But I'd suggest that you send it to me by tomorrow so that I can prepare the list. On the, um, on the Canada uh, emergency bank account, the threshold for the payroll is $20,000. We reduced it to $20,000 from $50,000. This in response to many questions from businesses who said we're too small to have any, uh, we, to have such a large payroll. But then they were on the other side of the spectrum, there were businesses that said, well, 1 million is too low, could you please increase it to 1.5? And that's what we did. So with that, I want to know whether there are any questions coming through. Um, if I can look at the chats and say, okay. I am so sorry to, uh, to find out that we do not have uh, the ability from others to question us because um, Samir has sent everyone a, um, a Zoom and we had to move from the Facebook to Zoom. 
and we have not been able to get people on Zoom. Maybe people are, uh, I think you were asked, can you post the link to on the Facebook for others to join? Did you, Samir, did you post it? Um, I guess you did post it on Facebook. You did post the link on Facebook? Yep. Yes, so Samir did post the link on the Facebook and can you probably connect on the Facebook and see whether anybody has put a chat into Facebook because I did receive information that they couldn't hear me and there was nothing I could do about it and I can't figure out why. So, uh, is there any other questions? Maybe check to see on the Facebook account if we have any questions. I have I am on two I think I saw some Kathleen. to give you um, if if your son is oh god i am having If your son is receiving CERB at the moment and you ask the question, uh, will it be clawed back? We don't know because the program is new and the prime minister just announced it. Once he announces that program, uh, there are logistical issues that the bureaucrats have to look after. And what I would suggest is we will uh, let you know as soon as the details are available to us as well. Anyone else that has a question? So I hope Kathleen, I did uh, answer your question. Please send me a text or a chat to say, you have said if a student has been accepted for CERB, do they continue with that or do they need to apply for the CEFB? Like I say, at the moment, we do not know because it was announced yesterday and it takes time. Um, but if you have any other questions, uh, let me know and then we can proceed from there. Uh, for those that are serving seniors, the United Way has asked uh, MPs in the GTA to uh, reach out to different agencies within their organization, within their writings really, and see if they have, can hire volunteers to deliver, uh, uh, to deliver the goods and services to the seniors, i.e. groceries, medications, um, a chat, et cetera. And we have sent it out to about uh, seven or eight, um, of the organizations and we are hoping that those respond. For the food banks, I have received uh, a lot of questions regarding the food banks. We have, our government has allocated a hundred million dollars to the five food distribution. So uh, these are food banks of Canada, Second Harvest, Community Food Centers Canada, the Breakfast Club and the Salvation Army. Since the Salvation Army is in our riding at 150 Railside Road, I would um, suggest that this uh, uh, that 
the food banks in Don Valley East apply to the Salvation Army and see what the Salvation Army can provide. Because after uh, the 100 millions is across, the, uh, across Canada. So please do that. Now from Ismail, you had a question. Uh, my business is essential and I have 26 employees. I have to pay them extra in this crisis. So should I be eligible to apply for, for loan? Ismail, your, uh, your question is very valid. We have, um, if you have a payroll of $20,000 and you, uh, you can qualify, but you'll have to go to, to your own bank and you'll have to tell your bank that you are applying under the Canada Emergency Bank Assistance. It's called CEBA. And they have to work with you. The CEBA is our government giving $40,000. So yes, apply. And uh, hopefully you're also applying for wage subsidy because if you are keeping your employees employed under this pro, uh, under these circumstances, you will be eligible for a Canada emergency wage subsidy. And for that, like I said, please go. Um, Samir has, I think, put the Samir. You have put the website for uh, eligibility cri uh, criteria, etc. But I'll give it to Ismail again. Uh, www.canada.ca backslash coronavirus to see all the updates. Okay, I hope that answers your question, Ismail. Um, anybody else? As I'm, chatting, I'm uh, scrolling down to see my emails, I, um, the questions, I'm trying to figure out if there are any more questions. And like I say, my sincere apologies to all who are on Zoom. Our next town hall is going to be on Zoom. And for those who were previously on the Facebook and had been cut off and couldn't hear me, my apologies again. Um, in essence of time, I, I think we still have some, a few minutes left, but if there's any more questions, I'd love to see. Um, okay. Any more um, questions from anyone? I'll give you a, a, a minute or so because I think it's important that I hear from you. Remember your input is extremely important to me because every day, every day from 5.30 to 6.30, it's either the prime minister or the minister of finance or the minister of a middle class, the minister of businesses, a minister of middle class, a prosperity minister of businesses um, and minister of social services are always, always on the line with us. So your input is input. So, um, so the next town hall will be on Zoom and it will be next Wednesday and we will be sending out, uh, Samir will be sending out notification for people to participate and since zoom allows a max of 500 people the first 500 will get the the ability to participate so samir do we have sufficient time on zoom or will it cut us off now
Are you receiving any more questions, Samir? Anybody else for any questions? If you're not, uh, uh, if you're not, uh, you do not have any questions. I think we could safely say goodbye. We have, uh, we're at a 30 minute mark and I hope to see you next Wednesday. Uh, it'll be April the 29th. Uh, remember, the parliament is going to go virtual on April 28th and it will depend on how the technology is functioning and we will all be able to do virtual uh, meetings with the House of Commons. So with that, if Samir you do not have anything, then I suggest that we leave the meeting. Everybody in agreement? If you're not in agreement, let me know. I mean, I'm just uh, looking at the chat and seeing if there's anybody who says no, yes. Thank you, okay. Thank you, Ismail, and thank you, Kathleen, and thank you everyone who has been on this uh, uh, call. And uh, with that, I would uh, state to Samir, he can now disconnect everyone. Take care, bye.